No, no they haven't. We went through this. We went oh. through this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Girls don't fart, first of all, but no. Yeah, they do. No, I we know. Don't. So my sister can fart the house. No, oh, girls don't did fart. Did I say that? Yep. <laughs> and we're back. Never too shy. And I have a cup in my mouth. You always have oh something in God. your mouth, bro. Get it can out of I your just, mouth. Can I just have whatever? <laughs> oh my God, Nestor! I'm not gonna overly sexualize Nestor in this Don't. episode. I'm you know not what? I feel so bad about that because him. I can understand where you were going. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like I feel like not like a girl, but like a lot of friends that are my girls have made to be to have made to be felt. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Overly sexualized. Oh, that's every woman. We've all no, experienced. Well, I don't want to say that. I'm because, not saying that proudly, but yeah. like we've all been in that position just because we're women. I'm not saying it's right or nothing like that. I'm just saying we've all been in that position. And Tati didn't mean anything. She no, just, I know she did. It's didn't. just hilarious. I know she did it, and I don't. <laughs> I'm and sorry. And the thing is, so like, I just don't want to have no tea with anybody, you know, and especially like someone that I. No, of course. It's all good. It's all love. But I, I overthink. That's what I'm saying. No, I, I am an overthinker. It makes me sick. But we're not talking about overthinking today. We're talking <sighs> about new seasons, everybody. New oh, because season. it's uh, fall, right? Technically, it's yeah. Fall, this is my favorite yeah. season of the year. Fall, fall, fall. Falling in love. love. Oh, my God. It is like cuffing season. So cheesy. Yes. It is cuffing Who's season. Who's cuffing right now? Are we still doing that cuffing season? Are we too old for that? Like, girl, you've been cuffed. I, well, that I know. <laughs> is it technically, like, is, or is it still like auditions for cuffing season? Because doesn't auditions happen till Halloween? Probably, yeah. No, I, I think this is October. the season. Because by no, Christmas, like, by Christmas, you should already be cuffed. So no, that right. You can but I feel like this is a presents. season where you have your team players and you're just watching them play. You're deciding who's the bench warmers, who the, the stars are. No, that was all summer. And then by, no, all summer, you're, oh, you you're recruiting yeah, yeah, you're for right. your team. Yeah, you're now right. Now you got a team. You got a Rasta. You got a Rasta. And then until Halloween, you're like switching rotating them out to see who's playing the best who are your top five starters and then after halloween uh -huh. you're like okay you 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 pick the solid player you pick the mvp yes. and then thanksgiving happens and then you hope to get a really nice gift by christmas and then it's <laughs> the new year you get a uh -huh. nice new year like new you new boo and then it's valentine's day and then life goes on and then it's summer and who knows can I ask you? So I'm I not. Saw... I'm not actually not going through it. That was a that's whole thing. Of... <laughs> no, I, that has not. And literally, now we know her life. No, right? I, I just. It's funny. But go ahead. Tati posted on her Instagram story the other day, and I'm. A, I used to do this shit all the time. You said, I want ramen. I'm craving ramen. Looking all cute. Who took you for ramen? No, it was actually my really good friend. Like when oh, we talk yeah. about platonic friends. No, no, for real. It was really my platonic <laughs> friend. It, he was actually supposed to come here to watch the oh, podcast. Okay. He's going through a lot right now. Like he's, oh, but is he straight? No, he's straight, very straight. But he's him? sick in the head right now because he's love sick. Do um, I know him? Oh, I don't know. I don't think you know From him. From no. one to ten, what would you give him if you were to rate him? Rate him? Like. <laughs> <laughs> You just said, it's because I know who he is. is. So he's so toxic. He's so fucking toxic. I love him to death. Like, I love, that's like one of my good friends. Huh? I, I, oh my God. I love him to death. He's just so, well, okay, just he's so toxic. He's going through just, so much right now. Can you just rate him for me real quick? One, two, ten. Oh, he watches this. I'm going to feel bad. What? Like, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> style 10. He dresses Hi. really well. Love. 10, for sure. Love. Personality, he's like an 8. What keeps going down? The climb. It's because he could be really cocky sometimes, uh, you know? I but I think he's cockiness. getting humbled in life right now, so it's probably going to get better. Yeah. That's he's cute. super dope. Oh, like, so he's good. No, no, so he's, he's, just my, he's just my friend. Okay. No, we went, like, it was what literally, I'm like one of his therapists right now. Got you. So he's going through a lot. He's going through a lot. Okay. And so uh, he just... It goes back to that idea of like men feel like they can't be vulnerable with other men gotcha. and express themselves. And like me being his friend, I try to see things from both perspectives too. Yeah. Not just to be so biased, like as an outsider looking in. So I give him tough love. I tell him exactly what I see, how I see it. And I tell him I'll support you in whatever you do. But 
blah, 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 blah. Based on this, it seems like this. Because I give him, like, the girl's perspective, but then I give him, like, as your friend, tough love, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then I won't tease you again about the no, ramen. <laughs> but, but the whole, but the whole like, scenario you gave about the roster and stuff, It. I'm not going through that, but that's, like, typically, like, the yeah. fun part. No, I don't have a roster. You I have, don't? No, I don't have. No. Do you have a player? You would think, right? No. You would think. Yeah, no. I, I mean, I have a lot of people that I'm sure want to audition for my team, Ooh. but I'm just not like. Talk your shit. I'm just not. She's a teacher. It, it's a oh man. It's tiring, probably. I literally, my roster is like school, <laughs> dance, grading, podcast. Like my yeah. roster is not people; it's things. Yeah. 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 Well, it, it's you. okay. It's we not my time. It. Yeah, I was gonna say when the right it's, guy comes in, I don't. I think it's yeah. always someone's it's time. It just I'm just not lonely, time. but I don't have a roster. My <laughs> girl, she said I'm not lonely. Same. Well, I love it. Yes. So speaking of then, let's ride, ride. Let's dive. Let's <laughs> into ride into the dive. affirmation. Ride to the affirmation. Let's ride our asses into this affirmation. Who ride? wants to go first? I always go first. So I let's, know. Let's just let, keep it up. You want to? Okay. Oh. I was going to say, let's switch it up. I was like, it's a new beginning, new season, but no. Maybe you want to go first? I can. New season. I switch could. it up. I mean, it's, I think, Yeah, really you fast. never go first. Yeah. Go first. I would say, like, my affirmation or something that I've learned, maybe, I don't know. Oh, I mean, it's something that we always hear, but whatever. Um, Like, don't judge somebody's situation because you, like, would most of the time like you've been there or you're gonna be in that situation and so like don't judge people what they're going through what they're going through you know that's kind of like my yeah. thing um yeah no yeah Real i quick. mean you can't be yeah like everyone everybody's fighting their own demons or whatever you want to call it and every, at the end of the day everybody's got shit going on whether they talk about it or they don't yeah it could be as serious as Somebody being in a real crazy ass relationship, and you're like, "Oh, they're so fucking stupid! Like, why would they?" Even? Oh yeah. So, uh, today, like, I always, my brother and the whole team, they're always locking themselves in the back door, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, "How stupid are the boys? They're always fucking locking themselves." And then today, I lock myself out. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, "Fuck," you know. So yeah. it could be as as serious oh, to yeah. like the smallest thing like don't judge people yeah like i think that goes along with like my friend going through stuff like i could easily tell you you should do this but unless you're in the situation you don't know how it's Bad. gonna be with you right yeah. so that's why i always say i'm gonna give you my opinion but again if i was in that situation who knows so that's why you got to take things with a grain of salt too when you yeah. ask when you ask people for like advice like they could give you good advice but have if they're ever in that situation would they take their own advice yeah you know got it. you don't know Facts. I think mine kind of falls into that today, too. So, like, mine would just be, um, I don't even know if it's an affirmation, but it's just, like, not to double down and just to let people, let people come to you kind of when they're ready. And mm -hmm. that's, like, where I'm at. So, like, I have a friend who this week is just, like, doing a lot when it comes to work. And I understand, like, he's balancing and managing a lot of stuff at work. It's just one of those weeks. And, like, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I'm not really talking to him a lot. We talk every day after work. So I was just like a little sad. I was like, oh, I was like, he's not really talking to me. You know what I mean? I know he's busy. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Leap that, please. Leap that. <laughs> I feel like everyone knows my anything, life. You're not saying anything bad. Yeah. No, I'm not. But I'm very like <laughs> my other best friend made a really good point. He's like, what you do in these situations, you do it in your relationships too. In your relationship, like with Javi, he's like, you do this where like when you think someone's mad and he goes i don't think that x person is mad at you the x person is just doing a lot and that's okay and, and he goes my, one of my other best friends he goes you need to stop doubling down and like when you think someone's mad at you especially with javi your fiance you go back for more you're mm -hmm. like hey it's me like you know what i mean i know you're busy or you're, but it's me and he's like just stop like let people come to you like, you don't need to double mm -hmm. down. No one's mad at you. But I think that's such a, like a trauma response where I think people are always fucking mad at me. Yeah. I, or when leave. you say overthink or leave, I'm an overthinker to the fucking max to the point where like I analyze your text message to me. I'll be like, they put a period. Oh they're, they're fucking pissed. Or they gave me a thumbs up. They fucking hate me. I'm that person. No, I'm the I'm person, person who just puts a heart, a thumbs up, and to me, I'm like, that's a response. Oh, I'll throw they got up. it. Oh. A thumbs up is oh, not yeah. a response. Like, got it. Like, instead of saying okay, like, 10 oh, four. Okay cool. Is even thumbs worse. up. Yeah, I think if I do a thumbs up, it's definitely because, like, I'm upset. 
Oh, you know, really? Like, not me. Can you not thumbs and up? And you admit it? Yeah? What do you mean? Like, you're admitting it. That's that's like a like retaliation. Like, I'm telling you and everything. Yeah, but just like, oh, fuck this. See, like, people don't want to admit that. Like, thumbs up is a fuck you or I'm mad. It's just like, okay. Like, it's like, fuck, fuck it. You. Like, I'm oh, over Oh, you're it. talking about the emoji or yeah. like reaction no, I'm talking to about the, the reaction. Text. Whatever reaction. Oh, there's a oh, reaction okay, behind Okay, that There's a different. Like, no, no, no. The reaction. If somebody like sends you a thumbs up emoji, oh, no, I take I take it as like a brush off. But I'm talking about like a react, like when you could hold down and you could Heart, thumbs That's up, thumbs about. down. My thumbs up is like 10 4, got it, confirmation type thing. I but I feel like, like when off. you send an emoji, yeah. to me, it's more like. No, because sending emojis push. is more work. It's like slightly more work. I think that they're both fuck yous, to be honest. Really? <laughs> if you, yeah. Because if you're my friend, or now like we're actually an asshole. Thumbs all thumbs up, up every time. I <laughs> hate it. If we're like cool, like you can respond to me. I know you're busy, but like you can like just say, okay, babe, okay, cool, okay, love. Okay, boo. Like, say something. Like, I'm also so sensitive. Just so, say boo. Yeah. <laughs> boo. Heard boo, that. boo, boo, boo. You know? send the I'm eye very emoji. Sensitive. The eyes. Even a heart to me, that doesn't bother me, but the thumbs up. So I, what if I, if I put a thumbs down? Oh, God. Thumbs I'll down. I'll fucking end this. I'll end this right now if someone give me a thumbs down. <laughs> I just, I can't. I don't know. I'm just sensitive. That's so funny. I got it all later. <laughs> yeah. You got it all late? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm a little slow, too. Mm-hmm. It's okay. <laughs> who's on uh, next me um so mine is if you can't control it don't worry about it yeah so only well, like, i'm thinking about that too you you control or only focus on what's in your control if you can't control it don't stress out about it you can't change other people you can't change situations whatever you can change do it from your point of view or however you can whatever it's in whatever is in your power do that if it's beyond that don't worry about it yeah uh, did you get that from becky g i no. think you posted a clip and i reposted oh no it. i didn't i actually got that from my coworker jackie but she says it better she goes it's beyond your control like the way she says it and it's so helpful oh yeah but i forgot i don't know the exact wording of it but she says it great but yeah. That's essentially what it is. My tia tells me that all the time because she sees me stressing all the time. Yeah. She's, but she says that, she said, si va a pasar, va a pasar, y si no ha pasado, yeah. why are you worrying about exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's something I have to remind Can myself Can you translate of. that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Put a little subtitles <laughs> at the bottom. Hey, Siri. <laughs> no, I love that. See, we're all feeling good, feeling positive for this fall transition. So I know you came in here, Nestor, oh, frazzled shit. as a fucking, I don't know what's frazzled, but monkey? something's frazzled. I don't know what gets as frazzled. A monkey? 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 I don't I've know. I've never heard that before. You just came in <laughs> frazzled. I don't, I don't know the English sayings. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I know, same. Mm-hmm. I don't know any, anything. So you came in and you were saying there's a lot going on right now. So yeah. for you, what is your like transition right now? Well, I think any, I'm like not like normal people where like they can handle like a uh, like a change and adapt to it real quick, whatever. So I'm not like that. I literally, it takes me a while to adapt. And right now, I basically am getting, I've always worked by myself. Yeah. Um, but now my friend had asked me if he can come in, join my team in Ooh. Pilsen. And I, well, I said, yeah, because, you know, I love my friend, you know. Of course. But it's just a lot of work. I feel like having to, have another person who does the same thing that I do. Mm-hmm. So he's a braider, barber. Wow. Um, does he do eyebrows too? He doesn't do eyebrows, but he does color. I don't do color. So he's the non-brow bro. He's not the he's not he's the <laughs> non-brow kidding. bro, but he dyes hair. So I mean he's the dye bro. Yeah, he does a lot wow. of more like color. women. Uh, oh, he okay. does he does women like as far as cutting their hair and stuff like that. Okay. I don't so yeah it's just been a lot and then I have a uh, I'm moving and so I've been homeless I have so I've been homeless oh, living no. not homeless homeless but I've been staying at my mom's because um well at my sister's because uh my apartment isn't ready my dumbass uh my dumbass left my old apartment to my cousin so now I don't have an apartment and they had already. It's a whole deal. But yeah, it's a deal. This is totally random. And you're not asking me because he never does. But I always just say shit. How cool would it be, though? Like, I'm thinking like black. I'm trying to help, you know, think about yeah, yeah, yeah. turning this into like an even better positive like new season, you know, Ooh. like, you know, how people businesses do like Black Fridays or what are they called? Small business. Anyway, there's a, fr- <laughs> there's a phrase for it around Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How cute would it be, especially if he specializes more in like women and color and dye? What if you guys did like a date night 
like raffle special or something where it's like you cut up the dude while he does the girl. Okay, well, it doesn't have to be a guy and a girl, okay? But like <laughs> you do one person so. and they do the other person like a date night thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they both get done, did up, done up together and then go out. So we hire Tati mm-hmm. as our coordinator of events sure i'll add the 90th thing Uh, on my list that i could do do it no but that would be super cool though like you have to think about how that could work in your favor too well yeah i'm definitely excited about it yeah you know so i'm just like it's more like me having to like do shit you know when (laughs) i'm used to like just having fun and living life without just going to my appointments but yeah I, i i like it i mean it's crazy because this person that's coming into working with me People have actually put us, try to like start beef because we mm. both do oh. hair. Yeah, like people try it with us. And I'm, I literally told my sister yesterday because we, we, were, we got into a situation, me and her. And she's like, you're just trying to try me. And I'm like, girl, you're my little sister. You are my little sister. Like her and my brother, I, they drive me crazy. But they're like my kid, you know, like I mm. love them. And so like. I would never try you. And that's the same thing with my my friends, you know, especially in the industry. This is my yeah. brother. Like, that's mm-hmm. my, like, me and him, we both do hair. But, like, everyone's always saying, like, I'll say something. Like, I'll say, like, if, let's say, one of our clients went to him and then went to me. Or him, yeah. I'd be like, well, he knows who's the best, the baddest or whatever, you know. But It's playful. Playful, obviously. But it's never, right. like, with the intent yeah. of, like, any of my people, you mm-hmm. know, because I'm not that type of person, you know. So, yeah. But yeah. Nice. What's your... I was about to say, I feel like we could all answer. Fill in the blank. What's Paulina's new beginning? I wonder. Oh, my God. New what season. What's the new season in your life? Well, oh. this is coming out on a very special weekend. So, if you're watching this, we're going to be busy this weekend. We're going to be very busy this weekend. Are we? We're going to Vegas, baby. Vegas. Big money, baby. She has like the biggest new season. She's like going into single to married season. Yeah, that's fucking. But I feel like, do you feel like you're already like there? It's so funny because I was asked the same thing today at work. And it's like, I feel super excited, but my coworker's like, you don't look excited. And I was like, well, there's a lot going on. But besides that, I was like, I just feel like I'm probably going to get so much shit for this, but. I feel like some brides or brides to be make that their like whole personality, and like that's just not me. Like I tried for like two days. I was like, I'm a bride, and I was like, this is so fucking weird. Like, and I'm so happy for brides and people who are making that commitment yeah. to their partner. Like, and, and some brides do make it their whole personality, and that that's you. Like, shout out to you because that to me, it just felt really uncomfy. And it, it could be a trauma thing where I don't like attention on me so much, and I try to downplay things, but. I just already feel like I'm married, to be completely honest. I live with this person. Like, we have a home together. Like, we have everything together. You guys have already farted in front of each other. No. You no. know they haven't. We went through this. We went no. through this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. girls don't fart, first of all, but no. Yeah, they do. No, I know. Don't. So my sister can fart the house. No, oh, sh- girls don't Did fart. Did I say that? Yep. <laughs> and we're keeping it. You guys oh, are the worst. Can can we, no, you're spilling can it Can we bleep that out? No. Nope. No, we I hope she kicks you out so much. Yeah, That's now you're going to really be homeless. the other person. You ain't going to have a toilet to fart in. How about that? I'm more like my mom. I try not to do that at all. You don't do that? I try not to. Oh, I won't do it. Uh, sometimes. Or I'll make noise. I'll Me like, too! All of a sudden, the vacuum. Yeah, you, you, talk, you said you would put the blow dryer on, right? <laughs> yeah. When you were doing hair, I remember. Bro, you said that in the episode. We had a whole That was a real episode, I think. Was no, that was, a, that was like a month ago. I don't know, oh, bro. The dryer on? I put the vacuum I on. I think. Well, it's because something. Y'all just too much. At the you fart? So this, no, but it won't be like, if I know it's going to be a, a loud one, I won't do it. No, because then it's like you can't escape from it. Right. Oh, I'll do that. Wait, do you guys do that? What? Fart in front of each other? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, you did say that. Yeah, we're we're in truly in love. You watched her give birth. So she, I mean, I did. You, I literally, cannot, I almost, like, I almost no pulled this. <laughs> I almost pulled my daughter out of my wife's. You should have. I wanted to. They wouldn't let me. Oh, they wouldn't let you. Kourtney Kardashian pulled her kid out. But yeah, no, of course. Did Dr. Mike deliver your baby? uh, He did. The sassiest gay man. I love Dr. Mike. It's my doctor, too. Yeah. Oh, you guys have the same doctor? Yeah. Me and his wife. That's not. It's not Marco's uh, doctor. He doesn't go. He doesn't go to the OBGYN. You don't have a gynecologist. Uh, yeah, he doesn't go to the guy. No. No, not yet. Unfortunately, or fortunately, who knows? But yes. Yeah. Oh, he's the best. He wouldn't okay. let you pull your baby out. You just like <laughs> uh, it was like the nurse. So Wait, I have a question. <laughs> go, go ahead. Here's your question. Why is he the best? 
I want to know. Because he's like a sassy, mean little gay. But yeah. he's oh, so he's important. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay. That's so, that's so right, okay, iconic. Like, what a gay, sassy doctor delivered your I baby. I love it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Like, yes, bitch. I don't know. Oh, Push. Yeah, I know. He's back there with Push. the queens. Push. <laughs> I'm like, yes. I feel like oh, gays yeah. like run my life, so I love it. Um, okay, but you were saying? Um, yeah, no. We, so he just kind of showed up at like the end, so... That's he just showed up at the end. So yeah, he just kind of showed up at the oh, end. Oh, everybody yeah. else makes you push, right? So yeah, the nurses were in there. And so it, it was essentially at one point, it was just me and her. Like we, or she was just pushing and I was holding And you're leg. just there. Holy crap. And yes. then he comes at the very end when it's go time. Yeah, so he comes in like the last 30 seconds and like does the last mile of the way. Pretty much. Basically. He does the least for the most. <laughs> Basically, but the wow. nurses were there. She was great. Hard or not hard? Uh, and yeah, it was full frontal. So I there's no... There's no escaping. boundary that me and my wife haven't haven't already crossed. That's so funny. So did you also, if I could ask, did you also have your your mother there or your in law mother? No. Just the two of you guys by two. choice. Yes. Did they oh. want to be in there? Was it like a whole thing? Uh, I don't know about her mom, but I know my mom wanted to be at the hospital, and then we just we. we oh, it's gonna. Oh, be, nobody was it's in. It's gonna there. be a party when I have. Same. It. Yeah. Everyone's. Every, my mom's gonna be there. My grandma's gonna be there. My dad. He's gonna be on this side, but my dad gonna be there. <laughs> My husband's is gonna that be by there. choice or is that because no I I I need like oh, I need that. to be babied because <laughs> I don't do well I don't have tolerance for are pain. you serious no yeah I, so I need my like I don't care how old I am I'm, I'm very much like if I'm in pain or something I need my mommy so like I need my mom there I yes. need my grand like I'm well, actually maybe not my grandma because she's like. You're not allowed to get an epidural. You have to. So she could yeah, go somewhere. Crazy. She could go buy coffee. <laughs> to the vending machine. She that's won't even crazy. get that. She, we're going to send her out somewhere. <laughs> no, she could go buy coffee. <laughs> she could go do something. No, because she's going to tell the nurse. She, that's what she did to my mom. Yeah. She told the nurse, don't don't bring An her epidural. that. So then she kept lying. They're coming. They're coming. No, she sent them away. So my mom gave birth naturally oh to me. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, Blech. not me. I'm like, I'm putting a contract feel, in with a lawyer that you can't Does she feel good do about that. doing that? Because a lot of my people grandma? usually feel yeah, good. No, does. no, no, no. Your mom. Oh, yeah. My mom. Till this day, my mom's just like, like I could do anything because I did childbirth without any epidural, oh. nothing. And I said, nope, not me. You no. Good for you, Dixie, but right. not me. <laughs> Shout out Dixie. <laughs> yeah, no. I, You're funny. I can't do that. So, like, ideally, I, yeah, I would want my mom. Yeah, my I grandma, want a whole party like, there. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't think you'd want everyone. Can really? I, I want music. Yeah. Like, you need to, like, get me, yeah, like, distract me. I need the vibes. I need the vibes. Well, I would love to see, or not see, but I'd love to hear what it is actually once you guys do it. Because oh, yeah. Can I tell like, you guys? We all have these ideas of what it's going to oh, be. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm like going to be miserable. I know that. I'm going to hate everybody. Oh, I'm going to hate every person. They're going to hate me, too. Yeah, we're all like, going to be We're going to hate each other. I'm going to hate the baby My mom the and I Like, you <laughs> stupid. You look what you did to me. And then I'll be like, oh, you're kind of cute. We all had, we had like a playlist and the whole thing. Oh, that shit went out the window, bro. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I believe that. It was just me and her, and I felt like that was what made it even special because it was just like us two in the room for Aww. a good, a good amount of time. <laughs> Does she it's feel like, the same way? Yeah. Because <laughs> the pain, I would be like, fuck. No, this. she had an epidural. Like, we didn't go no uh, epidural. Oh. Yeah, no, of course. Some people still feel pain. Yeah, they still Oh, yeah, no, 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 I know. Yeah, I know do. somebody that no, their epidural, didn't they work. didn't do it correctly and didn't then it off. faded away so like when the baby was actually coming out, like, yeah. she felt it all. So she got epidural for nothing. No, Lucy, didn't Lucy even work. felt like pain even with the epidural. Yeah, you, you still, still feel pain. You still I feel like feel it's pain. not like painless. It's the whole yeah. person coming out of you. Yeah, I'm it's saying. not like... An, yeah. I would have been just traumatized. Like. I'm like, can you just put me to sleep and seriously <laughs> wake me up when she's out. out? Like, don't cut me. I'll do it natural, but just wake me up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wake me up when it's time to meet my baby. <laughs> right, knock me out. <laughs> Might as well just do drive through right? <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact, Target can my husband up? get pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. Can we just put it in him? Target yeah, driver. That is crazy. No, yeah. I definitely want to party. Ran though. Random thought. This lady told me, because I'm going to get that CO2 laser mm -hmm. in my face. Uh-huh. She said that this lady of her friend said that it feels worse than childbirth. Oof. Wait, that new Morphe thing? or No, it's like where they literally burn your face off I, I i mean yeah it doesn't sound why are you doing not that? painful because i need it yeah I, why are you I doing wanna, that i want to get it done what, what is it like a it's lift just, you just read it's basically you're going very deep into like it's like shaving even in your yeah. skin well burning more like burning well, yeah it's my understanding of it so those that no Next more time you see Nessie, he's gonna be like a Kendall. Right. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, you're Knuff. <laughs> you're Knuff. He's, he's Knuff. <laughs> you're Knuff, Nestor. Yeah, but yeah, just random thought. That is, That's crazy, that right? That probably hurts like a bitch. Yeah. Or is there them mm. pain like that? 
that type of pain? What is your season transition? I feel like I feel like I'm always like challenging myself, but I think I want to evolve more like in the I don't want to say the academic world, but like I want to do more for the community behind the scenes. I don't know how else to explain it. I just want to like look at the community and see how, how I could better serve the community outside what I already do. I love that. I think that's my biggest push. I mean, I've been doing a lot with my with my dancers, like a lot of community events, but I want to do more. I want to host more. And even through um, other organizations I partner with, like dance studios I work with on their executive board. I just want to do more, more outreach, because I feel like that's what makes me happy, making yeah. other people happy. Um, seeing the potential in other people, making them feel good. So I think just continuing to build a bunch of bad bitches, one, mm -hmm. love, educated people, two, and just like make people happy around me. I just want to spread joy, whatever that nice. looks like. So it's a continuation of what I'm doing, but just on a different level. Mm -hmm. And I just want to continue focusing on love, loving myself, loving my friends, loving my family, loving the changes. I've learned a lot this summer. This summer has been really different for me in so many ways. Yeah, definitely. Talk I talk about it. Um But no, you don't like African jewelry. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like I don't like armadillo bracelets. Armadillo. Nothing nothing against the culture at all. Um I just learned that sometimes I could get excited fast, easily. We all do. And it I'm blindsided by like things that I could have easily picked up early on. And sometimes you just got to step back and evaluate a situation better. I think that's something I learn. But I do think I've matured so much on how I handle situations. Like I'm much more calm and rational about things. But I still, I still could like, I can't control my face still though. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You're working on it. I'm working on it. It's gotten better. <laughs> Yeah, but I think this has been definitely a year of growth for me. Is it because it's humbling you, like, everything that... I feel like, I definitely feel like I've been humbled a lot within these last, like, two years. I feel like different experiences have humbled me, like, stressful situations, situations I felt like I've been put in. But I'm very proud of the way I've been handling it. Yeah. And so I feel really good about where I'm at. And I think it has to do with just having a great support system and people around me that hold me accountable and um, just feeling like I'm where I need to be right now in my life. I keep that right there. I think that's my new season, my new beginning, is understanding this is where I need to be. As much as I would deep down feel like I should be somewhere else or maybe I'm not doing enough or is this enough, I think I'm genuinely happy and believing and confident that this is exactly where I need to be right now. That is shocking that you say that because out of everybody – like that I know and just I'm just thinking of people in my life you are one of the people that I think is doing not too much in a bad way but yeah just too much no as, I, as I, a I human. Am. like yeah you're physically doing a lot doing mm -hmm. yeah you're doing right, a lot then. so to not yeah. feel like you're doing to feel like you're doing not enough is very shocking for me to hear mm -hmm. and I think it's not enough so much like for me not enough yeah like I'm doing a lot for others i see but i think like i need to do better with like the internal monologue and checking in on me and like yeah, i think there's a me. difference between like doing and like being you know like yeah and i think a lot of times actions do not equal to like you yeah yeah somebody else mm -hmm. that's like, why i'm see. saying i think in this season like i'm coming into it very confident and secure like legit with my being and who I am and where I am and what chapter of my life this is. Like, mm -hmm. I feel super secure in it and I feel like the world's at my fingertips. But, like, hum I'm humbly saying that, not, like, on some cocky shit. Yeah. Stop being cocky. No, I'm just kidding. What else do you, like, want to do? Because, I'm, I mean, I know you said for the community, but, like, what yeah. does that look like in a perfect world, paint a picture? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think just within the organizations I have already, right. just thinking about how I could get more action in motion. So I talk about like mentorship programs, but I want to do more with like women in positions of power 
in the dancing, in schools, to have more mentorship programs. And that's part of what my dissertation's going into, and I'm doing a whole research project on it um, in the beginning of next year. Nice. So I guess that will start off something, hopefully that turns into something bigger. And then more so, like, for me, it's like, the more I want to do is, like, try new things and not be afraid of what people think and just like live my truth and not second guess a lot of things that's really what it looks like for me i don't have anything specific specific gotcha. it's just these bigger pictures of like what i think yeah. i should do now it's always interesting too when you like think of that right and you mm -hmm. have this like plan or like what you yeah. want to do but it's like what is the path to get there and yeah. that's where I struggle with a lot. So mm -hmm. I wish you all the success, all the luck, and I know you Thank got you. this. Love you. I love you. Marco, what is your new season? No one can yeah. see you, but they can hear you. They can More hear me. More Candyland? Loud and clear. More Candyland? Um, I think my new season is just soaking up the, the little moments. So uh, for me, you know, being a parent, being a new dad still, um, you know, I went to... We went to LA this past weekend. We went to Universal on Monday. And, you know, seeing my daughter and, and having her experience, even though she's only seven months, like she loved it. She was smiling and laughing the whole thing. And so cute. And it's like we spent, it's funny because, like, I say this in, in, in positive sense. Like, we spent all this money at Universal, right? It costs like an arm and a leg. And mm -hmm. my favorite time of the whole trip and day and everything was. We were sitting outside of Starbucks and I got a coffee and my daughter was laughing uncontrollably for like two minutes. And that was worth more than all the thousands of dollars I spent that day. And so it's just soaking up those little moments and being with the people that you love. Uh, that's my new season. And it's tough to do that because I agree with Dathi. Um, I, a lot of the times, like I'm so fast paced and I do everything else and I don't have time for... Um, myself let alone anyone else and, and i give everything to everyone else but i do that because of the benefit of myself and my family and everything but i think just taking some time and, and soaking in those little moments especially with my little one i love it do you feel like you haven't up until this point as much as you would have liked to i know you work a lot and do a lot of other stuff yeah um i i don't uh like i feel like i've you know, I've done, I've been there as much as I can, but I think it's difficult because now we're getting like, she's going to be one soon and she's going to start remembering and, um, I want to be there. And so like, that's why I always say like, one of my big things is getting home and like putting her to bed because, and, and also like staying up with her. Like if she gets up in the middle of the night, like I'll get up with her and, and like calm her because I always want her to remember like when she grows up that her dad was always and so that's like a big thing for me. So I think for now it's just like trying to be there and trying to go to her swim uh, her swim classes every Monday and trying to do all that. It's difficult, but you try. You try to be there. That makes, it, Dad. That makes a huge difference. Like yeah. I, my dad has literally, till, till this day, I mean, any, anything I need. He was at I our need, podcast uh, show. Our yeah, podcast I mean, thing. you name it, he's there. Yeah. Love like it. no excuses. And he works like crazy. Obviously, I'm so understanding because of his schedule. But like if he's off, it's not even a question. It's not even like where or what. He's like, let's go. Like yeah. no question. I love that. And and I think that also plays a role in why I am so secure in where I am in life because I have that confidence from my family and the support from my family. And I feel like people probably don't realize their full potential or what more they can do without like those cheerleaders, without those people. And like my dad, since I was little, was mm -hmm. that for me. And he's still that for me. And like today, it was so funny. I was like, oh my God, I got an A on my quiz for stats. And he like turned around, he's like, high five, my girl. And like he used oh. to do that to me when I was like four, if I like did something. And he still does that. And I think that's so important. And then that makes me think as you were talking, which I'm, I did home. I asked y'all to do some homework. I don't know if y'all did it. I think Paulina Ooh, did it. I did it. But we were, wow, terrible. Well, we were talking about love languages. Yes. And so I feel like my dad's love language is words of affirmation. Like for me, especially, like he's always like affirming me and always telling me 
Like, you got this. You're great. You're, do you understand? Like, you know, he hypes me up. And so my mom's love language is definitely like acts of service yes, and right, gift yeah. giving. Those are hers. Mine are quality time and then acts of service. So like, what are yours? So mine are absolutely words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with them. Although I kind of, the past couple of years, feel like I don't know if I'm like, I don't know, like changing something in my lifestyle, but I feel like that's not as effective as it once was. I used to be mm. super words of affirmation, but now I'm realizing sometimes words ain't shit. But, you know, they I still do enjoy a good mm -hmm. like, you know, phrase your partner, whatever, like words of affirmation, like tell them they look beautiful, whatever. I love that shit. And then number two for me is, um, um, what's the other one that I like? Touch. It's weird. I never knew I was a physical touch girl. You do this all the time. I love touching. All the time you do this. I know. That's like my so thing. I feel like that I'm makes petting. sense. I was like, no, please, please yeah, stop petting. Just, <laughs> I know. It's yeah. like, stop why am I touching? Stop petting the Pauline. <laughs> I know. I'm Don't a feed weirdo. the Pauline. <laughs> like, uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And my fiancés are... Um, I think it's gift giving, which is weird because like I didn't really realize that, but I think that's one of his. But it's wow. like um, it's lower. Yeah. Because number one is is quality time, and mm -hmm. I'm not a quality time girl, so that kind of you know, yeah. Like to me, quality time is just existing in the same house. Quality but time that's time. Not. That's not quality. Exactly. There's, I think that's the biggest difference. Is you could spend five hours with me, but in Four and a half of those hours, if you're on your phone and you're doing like you're doing other things, you're not like giving me your Probably time. Not. <laughs> it's not quality time. You were just around. Yeah. So like I would around. rather take like 30 minutes of quality time versus eight hours of just we're existing next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's the opposite. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I've always felt like women prefer quality time and yes. men prefer to be like existence. So it's it's funny that like you and Javi are the opposite. Complete opposite. I because Lucy and me are the complete opposite too. Like, are you? What are you guys? I'm I'm literally like if we're in the same room as long as like we're decompressing and relaxing together. Yeah, that's quality time. That's quality time. For me, yeah. And that's then yeah. I know, but I bet Lucy feels different. She yeah. wants your undivided attention. And What's difficult. her love language? Uh, acts of service and uh, quality time. I think. Quality mm -hmm. time. Yeah, acts of service is a big one. What about you, Nestor? Um, mine is quality time and words of affirmation but mm. i like you said like i don't i feel like i don't want that to be my love language me neither the words of affirmation because i am so moved by what people say mm -hmm. and like even last week i'm like i texted tati and tati didn't text me back tati wow. why did you text wow. me yeah i'm like because Ooh. to oh, me wow. i don't remember well to me sorry to me it's like i go to another level of being affirmed you know mm -hmm. and it's like yeah. Don't do that. Like, I don't want to do that. And so. No, when did you text me? So, <laughs> right away. Right after the show, right? Like, I, I just. Oh, you did. You texted I, me? Or yeah, I you texted, texted you. I texted the group and I texted you. But the point is, the point is that. Double text. Even though those are my love Damn. languages, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I want that to be my love language. I don't want to be, always feel like I need to be affirmed. Right. It's exhausting. Mm -hmm. My other thing was like, okay, so there's a certain way we love to be loved. Uh -huh. But what are the ways that you love to love people? Yeah. Because yeah. It's, there's a two, different. Good a point. You thing. have to understand that. I agree with you 100%. Just because my love language is quality time, if I think I'm giving you all my quality time, that doesn't mean you feel the love from me. Because what if yeah. yours is physical touch? Yeah. Or what if yours is gifts? And I'm not buying you gifts. I'm just there. You're like, you broke ass. <laughs> like, give me something, you know? So that's super important. I think if you're dating somebody, or no, 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 hold on. Can you, you be gifts, be, actually? My my gift is actually last. That's crazy. Yeah, that like is that. crazy. Look, and, I'm but you picky. didn't like the armadillo. <laughs> I did. I feel like it, good gifts. Good gifts, Caveat, good like gifts. like gifts that are meaningful. It, they don't have to be expensive. They have to be meaningful. They have to be like you know me, like you notice something about me, and then you get it. I'm happy if you buy me a Snickers. I would much rather. Pref I would much rather. King prefer size or regular. I don't care. That's the thing. <laughs> right. It's just that, like, you know I love Snickers. Thank you for getting me a Snickers. That's, yeah, you know I love thought. Princess Jasmine. Oh, my God. Thank you for getting me a Princess Jasmine tissue box. I always use that example because it was, like, the cutest thing. That is but cute. But I would much rather a gift that comes from the heart and meaning versus something like, I just got to give you something, so I'm a pick. There's right. no way that armadillo bracelet was intentional. Anyway. I'm pretty sure that was from um, someone's drawer. Yeah, that, that was from somebody's grandma's house. Boy, bye. A nice gesture. He probably thought it was nice, but 
not your style, babe. Anyway. But, but yeah. So yeah. how do you love to... How do I? Well, th- that's the point. I, whoever the person is, whether it it's your family or whatever, no, you have to understand their love language. Oh. Yeah. And so, like, out of me going, not going out the way, but if I really want to show you I love you, I'm going to learn what your love language is and I'm going to show you through your own language. Even you though, have to. even though I want you to show me through my language. Yeah, you got to love your person or that person the way their love language yes. is. Because believe it or not, I feel like that's a big reason why, like, relationships don't last because they think like i'm buying her the gucci shoes i'm buying her this i'm doing this okay just because you think gift giving is her love language it's clearly not right she wants quality time she wants affirmate words of affirmation yeah. just because you like getting nice gifts that doesn't mean it's the other way around so in other words gucci don't give it to her give it to me no you could give it to <laughs> me <laughs> at, give her the while Fucci, you're giving me, me quality Gucci. time or take me to the Gucci store. We'll so go we can shopping spend together. Time together. And then you could buy me that. That's fine. <laughs> well, no, I don't care about the Gucci you stuff know what's anymore. It's crazy that, like, I know that you guys would think that uh, uh, one of them would be touch for me, but it's not. Yeah, you are touchy too. But it's not, uh, that's not the way I like to receive, like, Interesting. my love mm-hmm. language. Like, yeah, I enjoy yeah. it at the moment. Or Speaking to the mic. Yeah, I enjoy it at the moment, yeah. but. I don't like someone being so close to me all the time. I am like that lately, too. I love touch. I love touching people. I don't know mm-hmm. who I love when I'm touched by my fiance. But lately, I've kind of been like, oh, yeah. I really need to have some space here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I do I love space. Space is my favorite thing. <laughs> a little personal space. She's like, a six feet away, please. <laughs> no, and I think it depends on the person. Yeah. Like, true. I would probably much rather get words of affirmation from one person versus quality time from another one oh, versus acts of service. I feel like that makes a difference. But overall, down the line, quality time, number one for me. Number one. And I feel like it's always been like that because it could probably be my only child and syndrome. words of affirmation, that's crazy. I know. I, I hate that. I hate that. that. Of course. I'm not proud of it. I'm opposite of them all the time. I was going to say, girl, you do not. <laughs> We're never the same. You do not same. relate. You do not understand My this. thing for people is acts of service. I do do that a lot. Yeah, you and do, then do I that. Burn, and then I burn myself out. You, you are acts of service kind yeah. of mm-hmm. person. That's a my lot. mom to the It's team. too yeah, much. Yeah, your mom will. Yeah, she's going to. That's going to. Yeah, I'm turning it to my mom, guys, except for the other parts of me. But yeah. <laughs> what? Because my mom is like very good. Person. You're a good person. You are a very good person. Yeah, but I'm you love too, everyone. Too crazy. Well, we love your mom. We love you. We love your mom. We love all we our love moms. Marta. We love Marta. We love all we love the mothers. Moms. We love Mama Dulcelandia. We love everybody. We love right Paulina. On. Shout out to Paulina when you're watching Yay. this. Say congratulations because she's getting ready. She's packing her bags and she's going to Vegas. Going to Vegas, baby. Next time you see us. Married. She's going to be a no. married woman. No, she won't. I was going to ask. Okay, oh. maybe this is off. Never mind. <laughs> well, I got to go. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not, well, not going to be on that episode. So. Oh, okay. The next time I'm going to see her at yeah. this table. She's, she's going to be a married, married woman. At this damn table. Well, thank yeah. you for tuning in. Follow us on social um, at Paulina Rowe. At Talk With Tati. The bra bro. And you can follow us at Never Too Shy Pod. Yeah. Wait, what? Never yeah, too Never Too Shy Pod. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're, just, we're Never Too Shy Pod. Follow us. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.